Hey guys, this is Lisa with Geek Girl Finds. Um, I wanted to touch base with you guys today um, about the video I made regarding the Manic Panic Amethyst Ashes uh, hair dye that I'd used back. It was around near Halloween because I remember I wanted my hair to look spiffy for my favorite holiday. And um, as you know, if any of you have watched the video all the way through, it was it was a fiasco to say the least. Um, it was supposed to be a grayish purple um, kind of hair color, um, and it was anything but that. My hair ended up being almost a teal color. Uh, but anyways, I'll put a link um, for that video down below so you can refer to it for any reference. Um, but anyways, I guess a someone who works for Manic Panic um, had been shown the video I made. And very graciously, they reached out to me to ask me some different questions about what kind of bleach I used, what was my process and everything, just to see, you know, if they could figure out why that happened. Because apparently it's happened um, to at least a few other people that I'm aware of that I've seen reviews on. Um, so I wasn't the only one, sadly, that this happened to. But they were kind enough, as I said, to reach out to me and, you know, kind of offer some tips and tricks to avoid something like that in the future. And they wanted to know information about what happened. Um, and they also, at the end of, you know, kind of our dialogue, um, because I was so upset. I was so freaking upset. Um, they did very kindly offer to send me um, two hair colors that would fix the situation because I could not get that teal color out of my hair. I didn't want to re-dye my hair because I just bleached it. I did not want to damage it any further. Uh, and I was very steadfast on that. I'm like, if this is just my hair for Halloween, it's just gross. I'll look like a swamp creature, whatever. Um, so anyways, the lady I, I chit-chatted with, um, she'd hit me up on Instagram. Um, she had suggested, which she sent to me, um, using the Manic Panic... Um, what is it? Uh, Dream Sickle. Let's see if I get that to focus. I can't. But as you can see, it's a very orangish color. And this is from their cream tone lines, um, which are almost a more um, pastel. Why can I not get that to focus? But anyways, if you're familiar with Manic Panic, I'm sure you've run into this. Um, and she had shown me another video where I guess someone had a teal situation going on um, and had trouble getting out. And this did it. I mean, this neutralized it somehow. Um, and it totally took it out. I put it in my hair, really concentrating because it was more kind of like mid hair length down where a lot of the problem was. So I don't, I mean, it was at the top too, don't get me wrong, but I don't know if it was from previous colorings, maybe from here down might have been a little bit more damaged. I don't know. Um, maybe some of you are hair experts um, and maybe you could tell me. But anyways, this, it canceled it all out. Uh, my hair was back to... A color I could function with. It was left with this kind of peachy um, dreamsicle color, which I'm fine with. I usually do my hair the kind of color it is now, kind of a really light pink, um, pink kind of rose gold tone is usually kind of the hair direction, or hair color direction I go into. So it left me with a color I was very satisfied with. Um, she also offered to send me my usual standby the uh, Manic Panic uh, Cotton Candy Pink in the Amplified, so which I thought was so, so generous and so nice. Um, and so what I did once I got that teal out and just kind of let my hair do its thing for a few days, I wanted to make sure it didn't come back. It didn't. Um, even with washings, nothing changed. 
And um, then what I did was I mixed, with, I don't know, maybe half a cup of conditioner. Usually I'll use the Suave, um, just whatever, 99 cent white Suave coconut conditioner, um, as long as it's white. Um, and I used basically a third of the uh, Dream Sickle, the cream tone, and I used probably, you know, a third of the uh, this bottle here, the cotton candy, and whipped up a batch of color. And um, this is, I mean, obviously I've had to kind of update and reapply since then. I mean, we're in January now. This happened. I didn't get the color from her till after Thanksgiving. So over the last month, I've been trying to get my hair back to somewhere where I'm happy with. Um, but um, I've been re-whipping up batches of this stuff to apply. You know, every... I usually do a touch-up about once a week with the more pastelized kind of colors, the more pastel it's just they do run out of your hair quick. It's not like you're using just a pure, rich, uh, pigmented color because you're, you know, you're dumbing it down. You're mixing it down. So, but anyways, um, long and short of this is I'm so happy that they reached out to me. As I've mentioned, I have been a longtime customer of Manic Panic um, for two decades and um, maybe longer. And my daughters use it too. And they were really turned off by what happened to me. They were kind of second guessing their manic panic hair color choices for in the future. And, um, you know, this to me, the, the fact that she reached out to me and tried to make it right, spoke volumes to me about the company. And um, I really think they went above and beyond. And I was so thrilled. So, hold on, I'm losing my voice again. Um, but anyways, I am super thrilled, super thankful. So big shout out to Manic Panic. You know, the Amethyst Ashes might have been just a huge bust, but the fact that you tried to make it right um, really made my day and restored um, my faith in your company. So um, anyways, that's really it. I just really wanted to say thank you and kind of talk to you guys about what the end result of that nightmare was. And the end result was very good. Um, so anyways, thank you so much for watching. Um, like I said, I will leave a link to that particular video I'm referencing um, in the comment section below. And again, thank you, Manic Panic, so much. My, my hair is something I'm not too ashamed to go out in public now. Now I got to do my roots again. So the hair coloring journeys continue. What will Lisa do next? Uh, but anyways, thank you so much, guys. Please do not forget to like and subscribe and uh, turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any videos. See you soon. Bye.